I think it, okay, there we go. Hey y'all, hey, um, it is me, Sheree, with another Fish Day Review, and we got a special guest from Girl That's Scary. We got Jazz. Hey y'all, hey. Um, we are here because we watched The Sadness, which is dropping on Shutter today, and needed to phone a friend immediately. <laughs> I watched it last night. I'm still not okay, y'all. I'm not okay, but I'm going to watch it again. I'm not even going to hold you. It kind of reminds me of the first time I watched Empedagore, oh. and I was like, ooh, I need an adult. This shit is wild. <laughs> I'm not watching this again right now, but I'm going to watch it again later, and I did. Listen, it's there, and we're going to revisit it, but also, damn. Um, this is going to be a spoiler filled review. If y'all want some light on the spoilers, follow Girl That's Scary because there's a review up right now on Instagram. Um, get into that. But because we're going to ruin this shit because I always got thoughts. <laughs> Listen, I need to get this off my mind while it's fresh because again, in the review, I said I need a pay period. I need two weeks before I touch this film again. I honestly need a permission slip, honestly, and a chaperone to watch this movie again. I don't know. Because literally, Cat got up and ran around the room. The last time Cat got up and moved like that was Host 2020. Yep. And before that, it was Roanoke, American Horror Story. One of the episodes, she got up and ran out the fucking hall. And I was in the room by myself like, no, I'm scared. Why'd you make me? Please. <laughs> Host fucked me up too, though, because like I, I was watching it with Amanda, who's visiting in Indiana at the time, and our cat Louise. And I didn't, I did not expect what I expected. I was like, oh, it's about Zoom. We'll save this one for last. It'll be the last movie we watch tonight. And it fucked me up. I was like, is it over, Amanda? Oh no, where's Jack, Amanda? And then I slept with the light on, and my cat walked in there and was like, you little bitch. Bruh. Is your lamp on? <laughs> the first thing Cat did was turn the light on. Immediately yeah. was like click click. And we watched it from the computer. So we no. had the computer jacked into the um TV with the HDMI. So it looked like we were on the Zoom call because it was for my computer. You could see my little Apple jank at the bottom. And then I not only that, I had it on the speaker. So the bass was hidden. I was like, wow, why did we do that? We watched it in the dark. was like, oh, yeah, we about to have a good time. We had a good time, but we did not have a good time. Because that last little scare at the end, I was like, Ooh. I jumped out my skin. I said, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I've only seen it twice, and that's enough. I can't revisit that. I watch it all the time. I, when I can't figure out what to do, it's like Hell House LLC. I'm like, I'll watch Host. It's an hour. I literally have seen Host a minimum of 10 times. A minimum. Because it's, it's fit, what, 40? No, it's 50 something. I put it on all the time. I'm like, I might watch it tonight while I build some houses. I, both times I watched it, I was like, never again. Um, because I watched it the first time. And then like I watched it for the podcast because it was chosen. And I was like, ah, I don't want to do it. Um, but Trin hadn't seen it. And so it was like, we got to. And I was like, I, it's too scary. And so, like, every time, I'm just like, not Jack, not the addict, what we do and why we doing it. But, but. <laughs> one time I said that fucked us up. <laughs> the sadness. Gosh, that movie, this movie, really, first of all, of course, if you already this far in, we'd already told your ass that there's a spoiler free review that you can go listen to. Um, there's other reviews. People are already talking about it. But quick overview. This couple are together. They real cute. And I don't even give a fuck about romance. But this one felt authentic. It did. It felt authentic. And th she leaves for work while there is a clear pandemic happening. And we are watching it from the pinpoint of where it has not happened and as it continues to spread. And they're trying to get back to each other because they love each other, okay? They need to be together, baby. And then you just follow their journey of them trying to get to each other. And you follow these characters. There is lots of blood, gore, don't watch it with children. Now, I the first thing that really fucked me up was they was when they were talking before you even see a bunch of people get sick. I mean, you do see one lady. You see this one lady in a white gown with blood on her just standing out here. And then the bitch disappeared. I thought the bitch was about to jump out the, through the window. Same. Like, rah! And she didn't, which would have been cheap. So I'm glad they didn't do that. But the neighbor with all his beautiful plants, which I was like, damn, I want a little jank like that. That looked nice. I got my plants behind me, uh, some of them. But he was like, oh, man, it's just a cold whatever, man. And I was like... This is us. Are y'all making fun of us? I mean, rightfully so. Um, but 
<laughs> I mean, people are being stupid. Uh, but, you know, I was like, the, the way they're treating it, I'm like, fuck. If something really severe were to happen like this and it would start off slow, we're yeah. fucked. We're fucked anyway. If, we, if the zombie apocalypse happens, people are going to go, it's a hoax. And then the zombie is going to turn around and bite them in the fucking neck. I don't... <laughs> We're we're definitely in the third year of the CDC going. Well, y'all wash y'all's damn hands, and Americans are like, no. <laughs> I, don't I, understand. I literally just witnessed a few days ago someone using the bathroom because you know I can I can't hear that good, but I can hear enough where if you're in the bathroom, you hear the water going off. Even if you don't wash them long enough, if you mm-hmm. splash them and you in a rush and you do something, at least you put the water and soap to your fingers, bro. Mm-hmm. When I say baby girl. Or baby person, I don't know how they identify. They left out the stall, walked over there. They, it looked like they, you know, did something to their hair, and then walk. I heard the door shut, and I was like, "I ain't hear the water. I ain't hear the soap. I ain't hear the paper towels." And I'm like, "Did you just?" T-? I went and wiped down my doorknobs immediately. I was like, mm, mm, mm. "That and people who go to the bathroom, like public bathrooms, and play on their phone in these public stalls." And I'm like, that phone goes with you. These germs should stay behind. Because you don't know where the stall be. You don't know what it's seen. Or people put their purse on the public bathroom floor. Oh, mm. my God. Or even mm-hmm. putting your purse on the floor in general is bad luck, baby. And I don't care if it's superstitious. I'm, I'm superstitious. Okay, I'll put my purse on the ground. I will put it on something that is touching the ground just to get it off the very bare. You don't do that. Not your wallet, not your purse. And you're always supposed to have a little dollar or something in your purse. Mm-hmm. One dollar. If you can afford it. I know times is hard. If you got a penny, put that in it. Do what you got to do. <laughs> do what you got to do. Listen. Listen. I, mm. um, but yeah, no, people be doing dirty shit in public bathrooms. So this movie hits hard, even if we hadn't been in a pandemic for almost three years now. Because we're definitely like past the two year mark. We're hitting two and a half. Um, I can't do the math by if she coming. It's the, no, no, it's two. Yeah, it's definitely two because it was like it was far, March 13th because it was Friday the 13th when they canceled school for us. I remember because we released a little um, Jason episode because it was tea time for Pam. And it was like, yeah, I was like, oh, and the kids were like, because I'm a teacher, the kids were like, oh, Miss Carly, do you think they're going to shut our school down? And I was like, I don't really think so. But if they do, I don't think it's going to be a long time. Then we got the announcement literally an hour later. And they was like, yeah, school is closed until X amount of time for two weeks. Two weeks. So most teachers didn't get their things. Now, I was like, let me take my work laptop. Let me take this. But I didn't take a lot of items because I was like, all right, two weeks. We we were out the rest of the school year and we didn't come back until like March the next year, March 2021. Damn. And we still went all the way back and we still have Wednesdays at home. I I miss Wednesdays at home. I want that back. They need to bring it back. Like, I feel like we've established we don't need to be in these buildings to do the work. Um, and it's good for people to be home, especially kids, because, like, kids are at school all day, all year. Um, Who too damn long? Yeah. They don't have no, an attention span. Seven-hour attention span for 12-year-olds? Are you... Are What are y'all smoking? Listen. Um, but, yeah, no. Back to this movie and their pandemic, specifically. <laughs> um, it... I was here for this movie. Like, y'all know, I fucking live every time we go to Asia for horror. And so to see, like, zombies and viruses um, and, like, I don't, I never get enough movies in Taiwanese. I just, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. So I was living. We were ripping faces off. We had bitches fucking up bodegas. I was like, gimme, 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 yes. Um, I was living and loving, like, just the gore factor. It was great. The blood, it was so much blood. It's li- it's a splatter film. Really, truly. Like you see so many knives to the neck. There's intestines. I love entrails. Like one thing y'all don't know about me, I love entrails, unhinged like jaws and exposed teeth really send me to hell and feet things like nails going through feet feet chop achilles there's a a zombie virus dude literally picking up somebody's leg and biting the fucking achilles tendon like a piece of chicken bro i was like hey no hey no and the thing is it's not quick he's biting it and pulling it and you can see the meat coming off i'm like 
first of all, that has to hurt. The man's just screaming. I was like, and he's not even about to die. He's not even going to die from, I don't know if he's going to even die from shock yet. He's going to feel this for some minutes. That's a very long time for that kind of pain. Please kill me. Take me to the king right now. Listen, I would not. I would be like, end it. End it now. Eat the rest of me. I, I can't see this. I can't feel this. Um, I, I was here for all of the, I was here for the chase scenes because that was also fun. It felt like a video game because you have the top where you're sort of following Jim through this weird world, which is kind of Leon in Resident Evil 2, if that's the video game that came to mind. And then you get like Claire, which is actually Cat in this. And so you're, you're getting to play two characters in this world and their own goals and objectives to get to each other. And I thought that was cool, but I was kind of upset because when we start following Kat, it becomes about sexual assault, which is not my favorite thing. Um, it, it also didn't fit the movie because we've established that it's gory and it's disgusting and it's scary. And we didn't also need that because like the old man on the train that's bothering her, we all know this old man. And we're like, I hope we get what's coming to him. And then like he turns and he takes out that one girl's eye. I'm like, okay, that's gross. That's gooey. But then he proceeds to chase her and Kat for the rest of the movie, <laughs> yelling about their pussies and if their pussies are wet and calling them sluts and whores. And <laughs> Listen, it was too much. Like now I'm, I don't like sexual assault in movies for the most part. Like I'm just, it's really not useful, but I understand the way that, cause if, it's not like, Oh, it was just him. If it would have been just him and the rest of the zombies, the rest of them were fucking each other and doing stuff to each other's like privates and just fucking, there was sodomy, all kinds of things, like lots of a sexual assault, lots of rape. And they were just touching each other. Then orgies covered in blood. Like I'm dead ass serious. Right. Like it, that's what you're seeing. So I'm like, okay, this is like, not, is it the shivers? One of those yeah. movies, it might yeah. okay, it might be the shivers, and it also reminds me of trouble every day where they fucking, but they also eating each other and shit. So it's like it's a mix of that. So I'm like, okay, I I see where you're going. The, you know, I'm not a big fan of sex in movies. Not like, oh, we need to exclude sex like it doesn't exist. That we can have the sex. But the problem is, I don't I didn't come here to see the gangbang. Well, this was a lot. It didn't even add to the story. It was just depravity. Like, just as we, this is what we got. And I understand there's a market for that. Like, some people are like, yeah, it just went balls to the walls, depraved. Like, it was wild. I'm like, but it was like a three-minute scene, and I had to keep seeing it. And I, and there was the only sex scene. There was lots of sodomy. You hear the sound. You hear the cheeks clapping. And I'm just like, I, this is a lot. We could have had more zombie situations because when the zombies are not fucking people, because these are smart. They're not dead. They're infected. Yeah. And they are not slow, they're fast, but they're also laughing, which is wild. It's called the sadness because they're never sad. They are, there's a tears coming. So maybe that's why. So they start crying right before, but they're smiling still. So they're maybe they're, you know, gone mad, but they run. They know how to use tools. They know how to open doors, fire guns, not like your zombie, like, night of the living dead they can use a some tool but they probably couldn't load a pistol they wouldn't know to unlock the door or bend the thing and say oh these bitches is my bitches which is also nasty and he doesn't say bitches it's the worst word but he bends the metals like i'm not cheering bye guys like you have a thought process they are still human but they are the worst kind of humans they're just we are literally in this eighth circle of hell or some shit like this is wild i it 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 just it felt it felt weird because when we were with Jim earlier, they were just violent and they were chaos. And I was like, I'm supporting this. But the second we switched to cat, it was like also violent and sexually aggressive. And I'm like, did you just did you just be like, I'm gonna let the woman drive this so we gotta assault her a lot and threaten to assault her a lot? Because yeah. I, I think it would have been scary enough for her trying to navigate this world because she doesn't look like a fighter. Without them being like, is your pussy wet every five seconds? Because it literally became like a taunt. And I was like, no. And everyone was trying. It wasn't even just the old man. I feel like other dudes was trying to, yeah. you know, trying their way with her as well. And I was like, mm, this is a lot. Now, I do believe that the dude sees something sexual one time where these dudes are like beating up on this dude. He's in his underwear. Oh, that was a thunder. Oh, Jesus. I jumped on my skin a little bit. But Jeez, they are... Knows. They put the barbed wire around the pole and smash his pride, like, like smash his yeah. shit into the pole. And then he stops him. And the dude is like, why'd you stop him? I'm about to, I was about to blow my load. I think that's what he said. Yeah. Now, 
Listen. And I was like, oh, so you y'all are participating in it too, but it looks a little different. But why is it so violent? Like none of theirs was like, I don't know, it wasn't sensual, but I don't know what yeah. what the what that was trying to say. But it was I'm like, mm, y'all listen. But it's only one scene. You see him, that man follows him trying to get some coochie. You are infected and you are still chasing coochie. And then it was rude because he was like, I fucked the fat girl. Like, look. Yeah. Who, by the way, the girl whose eyeball he takes out with an umbrella on the train, he, I, if y'all are still with us after we told y'all it's going to be a lot of sexual assault, he fucks her in her eye socket. We don't see it, but we get enough to know what's happening. Because when he finds her, he starts undoing his pants, and so you know it's going to be some assaulty shit, because that's always the universal, like, call for that. And he's talking to her, and he grabs her head, and we leave it. And that's when I was like, you know what? At least we didn't have to see it, so it's going to be fine. But then the next time you see her, you could tell what happened to her eyeball. And then when he tracks down Cat, he's like, and I, in her eye, in my seed. And I'm like, we don't need all this. We don't, why are you making a movie about sexual assault? Why? Because it wasn't that way before. Um, and like, there's a random shift in the middle. And that's when I was like, I don't, I'm, I'm a little upset. This was, this was going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. And then I'm like, I don't know. I'm conflicted. What was you doing yeah. and why? That's why it's like an eight. They could have just simply removed some of the dialogue. You already showed us what he did. You already showed us an orgy in blood with people holding entrails and shit. You saw, showed us people just stabbing people on the train. You showed us the depravity of this and how it drives people mad. You don't have to fill it with the dialogue. I feel like some of the characters say way too much, especially that old man because they focus on him a lot and he's really, no one likes him. No one, no, we didn't like him before he no. was infected. Granted, I feel like his ass is already infected, but you know, that could have just been him because he looked like a piece of shit. But right? um, I, I feel like they could have just cut a lot of the dialogue and left some of the action in and then it would have been better because it's just him. He's saying slut and whore, pussy, your cunts, all that. And it's constant. Every time he meets up with these bitches, he got something nasty to say out his mouth. He is like, turns up Freddy Krueger. He's Freddy Krueger drunk uncle bitch. And he is in the cookout cussing everybody out and you trying to shuffle him out the door, but he won't go away. No, I knew when he was chasing them from the train, because the train was lit. Everything that happened on the train, I'm supporting. That's my kind of career, you know. But when yeah. he was following them from the train, um, and he was yelling about how his dick hasn't been this hard in years, I was like, are we going to be assaulting people? And if, surely enough, we were. And then, like, I, it's one thing to actually, like, do that and, like, know what happened, but it's another thing to have him describing play-by-play -play to Kat what happened as he chases her, talking about her pussy that he's going to get into. Yes. And I'm like, we don't need you to give a play-by-play. -play. We don't it felt like it felt like that kid who wanted to make sure that you missed you didn't miss the thing that he's proud of, and that's not what you should be proud of in this movie. Like the sexual assault is not the highlight for me. Um, if that's what this person who created the movie is highlighting, I'm concerned because um, I feel like there was so much in this movie that I loved and we could have like stayed with and we could have like followed through with, but they were like, let's use the word pussy to remind them what I did to that eye socket because I did not live my best life, and I was like, no, right. And also, you as the person who's fucking eye sockets, why would you even want to parade that around? Because now you not only are you telegraphing that you are wild as hell, a maniac, you're going straight to hell. Mm -hmm. You are not pass and go. You're not collecting $200. You're going straight to hell. Okay? First class. And then you're letting us, everybody know that your dick is small because that girl was still alive and well. Your dick is a whole two inches because clearly, because if it was, if you was doing, you would have, I feel like brain damage might have happened. I'm He's also sad. not sure. But then yeah. I'm just like, mm, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, but I just feel like an object being forcefully put into an eye socket, like the eye is already gone. You're yeah. pushing the matter. Something, I, something about that feels like she wouldn't live if there was something there. You know, and this is why you you know what you was on a train trying to holler at bitches, mind their business, and read their books. Messy. Why are you telling everybody your business? We did not ask. We we didn't even ask to see that eye situation. No. You could have no. left us out of it. We could have we could have left everything about that old man after the train to the imagination. Um, and instead, we were like, let's make him, let's give him a character, because again, like we were following Jim and Cat. And we saw Jim make it back home and like fight the people who tried to get in his home. And then he was like, I gotta find my girl. And that was his bookend. And then we go to Kat and I was like, what's she gonna get into? And it was the sexual assault hour. 
And I was just like, I don't like this for her because I feel like she was, she's a great actor. I, I had no problems with her performance. Um, and she's really cute. And like, she was out in the world. She wasn't at home. And so seeing her have to get back home or get to wherever they're going to meet would have been cool without the old man talking to her about her pussy every five seconds. If I never hear the word pussy again um, in any language, <laughs> I'll be fine after this movie. Because again, they were like, we are doing cool stuff. Let's stop that so we can make sure we like get this like assault in there. And I, one of the things I've been wondering about lately is I think that a lot of these directors, specifically men, like writers and directors, they, they don't know how to have a movie without sex. And they also don't understand that sexual assault is not sex because it's not consensual. Um, and so they're just like, I gotta have it in there, but it's not the same thing. So it's not like sexy time, you fucking eyeball. I'm like, oh no, are you okay? <laughs> are the women in your life okay? <laughs> what is your other movie? Should I be avoiding that? They're not okay. Um, they're not okay. I, I, I just, it was so much. Again, you already showed us, and then it's the fact they reiterated with the dialogue. It's like when you show us something, and then you get like thirty minutes to move, and you give us a flashback to the shit you we saw thirty minutes. Ago. We saw that shit, or even then you t tell us something with dialogue that we just saw with our eyeballs five minutes ago. Goddamn thunder, relax. We got stuff to do. She's serious. She's like, I see us making a video. I want to be heard. <laughs> she said, girl, that movie was crazy. That's when she, she came to comment. <laughs> Boom, bitch. That was crazy. She's like, I too got a screener. Thanks, Shutter. <laughs> I saw it from above. <laughs> she was watching it through your window. The thunder was like. <laughs> she like moved this blind. I'm trying to see some stuff. Look. Ooh, that's crazy. Is that a titty? <laughs> right? <laughs> Look, I... One of the things I do have to do with this movie is that, like, for all of the sex that happened among, like, the bloody <laughs> infected people, it was never sexy time. It was never Mel Gazy. Because um, usually, it's, like, in the world of other directors who I was, like, name dropped, they're just like, tits. Um, and this was like, this is uncomfortable. Everybody's grinding, but do they even want to be here? You're, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. They feel like machines. They're just doing this or, like, they're just doing this thing like somebody else is controlling their body. And yeah. you hear them, they're moaning, but they're not, it's not like, the energy is very, it's like, like they're doing this like, like it's food and they haven't eaten, eaten in like, wow. They haven't eaten in like two weeks. They're just like, ah, I'm like, um, I, you are doing this like your life depends on it. Like you, it's like, it's breathing. You're not okay. You're not okay. You're too into this activity y'all are holding up intestines and riding dick what <laughs> take me to the king right now right now come on i would literally lay down and die i would lay down flat and just be like yep my soul is going up or down either way i gotta get the fuck out of here bitch i can't stay here no more I think that would shake me out of whatever the virus is. Somebody with intestines in their hands was coming at me for sexy time. I'd be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm clean now. I'm cured. I'm leaving. <laughs> Whose stomach is this? Why are we here? Mm, I would jump clean out the window with no problem. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Woo! <laughs> this is wild. Right? In the movie right down there. Um, but yeah, no, I... I also did not like the doctor who saves Cat. I didn't like him from the moment we met him. Okay. R problem one. My thing is, I understand you in here with the gun and you telling them and you not sure. That all makes sense. That all checks out, right? Mm -hmm. The baby in the trash can. You hear Meh! and you're like, what the fuck? It is a fucking infected baby in the trash can, bro. And he was like, I thought I killed you. know, he But my thing is, I, I understand killing the babies. They're infected. That makes sense. You can't, we don't have a cure. We, there's nothing we can do with this baby. Why would you keep this baby? Especially if you try to breastfeed it, you're fucked. Like, you can't feed the baby. It's It should die. And that sounds bad. That sounds crazy. But if you would have seen this baby in the face, you would have said, no, nah, kill it with fire. You right. would have said the same thing. That was not a, that was not a good baby. That baby was not Gucci. That baby had bad vibes. And we couldn't, 
it needed to be yeeted right into the trash can. We don't have no motherfucking time for that shit. Either way, it was in the trash can, but it was crying and she pulled back the thing was like, oh my God, he comes out the cut and sticks her with a needle. I was like, hey, doll. I didn't think, I thought he was going to she was going to catch her. He was like, no, and try to explain himself. He immediately put the virus in her. And I was like, bruh, she wasn't even infected until this point, I feel like, because she does start to turn later. I'm like, yeah. bro, I hate you. Why'd you do this? And then it all for not. Why? Because his ass gets fucking bit anyway. Y'all both, you could have had two on one. No, he just had to talk to her, but he refused. He was like, she's seen too much. Click. And I was like, you could have, you could have, like, you see this baby, this baby's fucked up, right? Um, I, people, I just don't understand. I don't understand because we could have had it all. We could have had it all. Um, <laughs> Rolling in the deep. <laughs> and I just, they were just like, eh. <laughs> I was like, why? But we had a good thing, um, which I guess we should start wrapping this up. Uh, is it a yay, a nay, or a may for you, Jess? It's definitely still a yay. It has a few problems, but at the same time, one, you're never going to be bored. You're gonna, it's gonna turn up immediately. The moves, most of them do make sense. Um, it's depraved, it's bloody, it is scary because you know, zombie films can be very predictable a lot of times. Virus films, it's some, oh, they're getting infected with bites, somebody had to bite, something like that. You don't even know how they get infected, they never tell you. We don't know if it's airborne, blood pathogens, because you see people getting killed, and then some people just turn around and they're sick you don't know how they got sick like the neighbor was like oh it's a cold or whatever his ass was sick we don't even know how it's, it's just happening so fast and you're thrown right in the middle of it so it's an adventure it's just it's not going to make you feel great because there's so much sexual assault they could have had less less of that or at least less dialogue about it because they were like beating their chest about the fucking sexual assault i fucked your bitch nigga like i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa please beep, 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 beep. stop stop police police guard <laughs> every time they came back to it because like you would try and forget and so because you're like i'm gonna try and forget and forgive because i'm having a good time aside from that and they're like no that's where we live now i'm like stop stop go back to the bodega go back to the chases we had the a diner thing. Listen. The train. The Listen, train. I fucking love the train. The train was the last time I felt joy watching this movie. Because <laughs> it was a bloody mess. It's like, yeah, get it, get it, get it. And then they left and he was like, I haven't been this hard in years. I'm like, oh no, it's like an end world, is it? Fast forward to him and even the end of eye socket. Even like, the end was wild because the boyfriend, spoiler alert, clearly they both fucking turn, which I do like. I like I that, that because there was no way that he was going to make it down to that bottom and not be infected with three missing. He wasn't, it wasn't working out for him. He was not making it there. That was not happening. And then also I was like, she not about to, she don't look like, again, like you said, she don't want no fighter. Like, and that's not on her. That's not bad. I would definitely die in this situation. I would have died earlier. Girl, I would have been, I would have died on the train. <laughs> Honestly, truly shit. I don't know what to tell you, but I just feel like that end is realistic. I like bleak endings. So I I did cheer for the ending because this makes sense. We're not making it out of a zombie apocalypse because one, either we're stupid, out of shape, and it matters because you need cardio to run the zombie apocalypse. Zombies right. don't get tired. Okay, they don't go to bed. <laughs> for, well, it depends. Some There's like one where they rest, but most of them, they don't rest. <laughs> like already <laughs> dead, they be frozen or something like this. But most of the time, they be beat our ass. All right? No. So... You got to get the fuck out of here. Like, we're not going to make it, bruh. And people are selfish and mean. And if the kids, zombies don't kill you, the people are going to. Because now that the laws are gone, people are fucking terrible. They're not going to jail because zombies. So they're going to do whatever. No, it's the purge. But like... <laughs> but it's all it's until... until. Forever. Like, <laughs> it's the purge forever. Oh, um, I... I would also give this movie a yay because like, while the sexual assault was a lot and I was very annoyed and disappointed. Um, I think that if there could be an edit where we take out those parts, I don't know what cat story becomes because it's not a whole lot left, but <laughs> um, that is a problem. I hope that this writer director evaluates in the future because again, I was rooting for this and there was so much there and I'm still giving it a yay, even though like, I gotta be like, it's a yay, but also friends. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta warm motherfuckers before you watch it. You can't be like, oh, just watch it. Like Dave made a maze. Here's this movie. You can just watch it. It's you don't have to give no disclaimers. This one's like, look, listen. You make sure the kids aren't at home. There's a lot of sexual assault. There's a lot of nudity. There's mm-hmm. a lot of this. You gotta be no. right. It it just it didn't need to be that way. And I think that is why I'm just like I wish I didn't have to give it a yay, but also it was a damn up movie until that midway point. And then that midway point, I'm just like, I don't know how to get this out of the movie that I came in here for because you won't let me. Never let me forget, literally. They were like, we are solving people now in every fucking hallway. And I'm like, I don't, we don't need it. And they try to like wrap it up in a bow with one line from that weird doctor who's like, it makes them violent and sexually aggressive. And I'm like, they were just violent for Jim though. Like nobody's trying to get on Jim because like, if that's what it's going to be, let it be that. But don't be like, He's going to get through unscathed, but when we get to her, there's other dangers. Everybody's trying to fuck. Everybody's trying to fuck. And I'm like, again, he only encounters that one sort of sexual thing. It's not sexual for her. It just yeah. looks violent. It doesn't really look sexual. So they ramp his, you know, nuts into yeah. the little thing. And then he's like, I was about to blow my load. So he's into it. And they're like, ha, ha, ha. But then they throw rocks at him. They don't try to, like, you know, attack him. They don't try to rip his clothes off. They throw rocks at him, which I... <laughs> Okay. This feels like a movie that would have like killed in the 70s when it was the Wild Wild West. Um, can you, I can see this and like, um, oh, the devils just like being a double feature for somebody. Um, and, but this one, I understand like the pearl clutching because I'm like, oh, that's too much. That's an eye socket. Whereas the devils, I was like, it's a little sacrilegious, but like, these are cute sandals. Um, <laughs> not these are cute sandals her wig was crazy but I just mm, that wig was wild I had to try trying to say crazy that wig was wild <laughs> um, it was I, beyond wild it was like <laughs> in no part I, you know a wig without a part sends me to hell I'm just like geez but you know what you're right I think this movie from in the 70s would have like hit hit for real for real but at the same time I feel like mm, it might have been well no because I'm like Cannibal Holocaust came out in 1980. Yeah. Okay. And not to say that this is quite Cannibal Holocaust, but the blood and the sex and, you know, the, which is not really sex. It's assault. It's rape. It's mm-hmm. not sex. Because there's, like, that word is consensual. And there's a few other scenes where people are, like, madly, you know, biting and having sex in the corner. But a lot of the situation is people who are not infected being held down. Yep. Or, you know, by a bunch of group. Because now they all together. Because even the girl with the, I was like, I had trouble making friends. I just guess I never met the right people. And I was like, bitch, <laughs> these are not the right people. These are not the right people. And like both security guards. So there was a security guard that was a guy and one that was a woman. And they killed him with an axe to the back. And then they grabbed her and held her down and they all jumped on her to like fuck her. And I'm like, we, this is really where this movie's gonna go. We just gonna like be like, well, we had women, so we gotta assault them uh, for the rest of the movie. And I'm like, this is not, you can invite us and not do that. Like, I swear you can. Yeah. Like, if they were doing it to everybody a little more, a little more balanced, then maybe. It'd be more understood, but also like they, we, I, we could have just had you could have pulled a, almost a train of Busan, okay? Because train of Busan don't even do none of that shit, and it and it's time. still scary, and the zombies are still fucked, and they're different. They're not even the same kind of zombies. They're still different. And they have different rules, and it's different characters you follow who have different reasons why they're endearing. But this, and they're clearly different fucking countries also. But yeah. this. It really didn't have to tap into. It could have gate the set, zombies were interesting enough, and the people were interesting enough, especially Jim, because he was like, "I'm about to get to my girl, no matter what." So you were rooting for him. You were he came out the gate with no fingers, bro. He made it home and lost three fingers and still said, "I'm about to go find my bitch, bro. I'm about to get my. I'm about to get my bitch back." Yep. <laughs> Ooh. <No. laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I know about this. Um, thank you to our friends at Shutter because, like, I'm a DIY podcast. I don't have connections. <laughs> they make this possible. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you to Jazz for joining me on this adventure because I don't know how to talk about this by myself. It's you got to phone a friend for this one. You just got to phone a friend. I will pr- please. You know, this is not the movie you put on at, you know, 11:30 by yourself and put the blanket on your head. Yes, you're going to get a scare, but it's not that kind of scare. It's the kind of disturbed scare. You want to hold a hand. You need to sit next to someone who can support you. 
right? You gotta break open like the expensive Chardonnay. You gotta you gotta put on like your comfort sweater. Um, <laughs> it's you, yeah, it's unsettling. I think that people who I think that people will enjoy it. Um, I'm hoping more people talk about the assault because I think that's something that we graze over a lot in the horror community. We're just like, it was a great time. And it's like, it was a movie full of assault. We need to talk about that. It happened like several time. times, several times within an hour and a half. It's not even a long movie. It's not like a two hour, a three hour epic. It's an hour and a half. There are at minimum four scenes of sexual assault at minimum. minimum. I feel like there's more than that, but I just, you know, it became a part of the background, which is, I don't know if that's a great thing. <laughs> just have the sexual no. assault, like just a thing that's happening, but especially <laughs> to the women. And it's not, again, it, you, like you said, it's not happening to the men except for like that one instance, which is still not yeah. the same. It's not no. the same. No. And that just sends me, it sends me. Cause again, like it's an hour and 40 minutes. And so we should not be spending that much time talking about, her junk um every time they said that because they said it multiple times i can't yeah. stress enough how i didn't just pull this phrase out of thin air it is yelled at her in multiple ways multiple <laughs> yeah areas. so they say pussy so much so many times and i look at they said that this is sort of as one dude one but all the women because it's not just her it's another woman it's the girl with the eye it's women it's so so many mm -hmm. so it's like two dudes that kind of experience it and it's still quick you know? Right, right. And my thing is, like, I don't think we need a movie full of assault. But if we're gonna do a movie full of assault, it should be an equal playing field. Because when you when you put like three women in roles with lines, and then you assault all of them, what am I supposed to think about you? Um, but <laughs> that's all I know. Um, thank y'all for checking this out. Um, if you can watch the movie, it's on Shutter. I know a lot of people looking forward to it. And for those of us that can like get past all that assault, it's a good time. Those of us who can't, I, I, Shutter has other stuff, and I hope that you get train to boost on. Train to boost on. I haven't finished it because I was too messed up to finish it, but I'm gonna watch oh. it. Okay, yeah, but if you're in the train to Busan, you know, Black Summer doesn't have nearly as much sexual assault, to my knowledge. I'm talking about season one because I have not seen season two. Yeah. Um, you you know, you can get some zombie without that if you want to. Listen, I think they have all of the train to Busan family because they had the sequel and like the animated prequel, I believe. Saw Station hits. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I need to watch there again. I will have a watch party with them. I'm going to make you just the same thing about Letterbox. You know how aggressively was like, get the Letterbox. <laughs> You're going to watch Soul Station. I made my grandmother watch it. I made Grandma Jean watch it. I forced it on her. I sure did. That's why she was like, oh my gosh. She was falling the characters like, oh, your goose is cooked, girl. And she was talking about the characters like, oh, we bet you about the time. Uh, I had her watch a creep show and all kinds of bullshit. I love creep show. Well, I love creep show. I've not seen it in forever, but I loved it as a kid and I probably still love it. I no, Not you one. you will. The second one a little shaky, no. but it has some things that are all right. <laughs> yeah, no, but um, yeah. So thank y'all again. If you enjoy it, let us know what you think about it because I know I got thoughts. Um, also pull up on the girl that scary spoiler free review, even if you have already seen it, because it's just a good time with girl that scary when they review things. So yeah. like, it's the reason for Instagram, y'all. Get on it. Um, <laughs> um, bye. Bye.